Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer and Jer Watchem Bolly Star. Today, we're getting into Jamari. She came back. Who, Boom, you ask? Well, viewers, Jamari's talking about Billie Eilish. Uh, that one podcaster that'd be po uh, uh, interviewing... Um, you know, black celebrities, and she'd be getting them stank faces and asking them dumbass questions, but she'd be acting all regular with the white uh, 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 people she'd be interviewing and or other races. You know, the one Offset told that she was busted, so she got cuter cause she, cause a bit, uh, because her ego got shattered. Yeah, her. So, yeah, we gonna see what Jamari talking about right here. You feel me? So let's get straight on into it. Let's go. So it's been almost half a year since we last talked about Bobby Althoff. At the time, she was this podcaster who seemingly came out of nowhere doing one of her first interviews with Drake, which led to her talking to Tyga, Mark Cuban, and even Offset of the Migos. Don't get me wrong, she was viral for her online activity beforehand, but just for like mommy blogger content, and with her being pretty much brand new to the interview podcasting space, and landing Drake as her second guest ever, and everyone knowing that he almost never does interviews, the immediate criticism to Bobby following her overnight success was that she must be an industry plant. Which in very simple terms means that the industry, or at least the people behind the curtain with the real power in the entertainment business, predetermined that she would be successful, and so in turn she would get opportunities that other people might have to work two decades for. At the time, others also noted that with her dry, sarcastic brand of talking to people, she was essentially buying this format from comedian Funny Marco, who she would actually collaborate with later on. And almost immediately after her 15 minutes of fame Isn't began, that her first interview? it seemed like there would be trouble in paradise for Bobby after people noticed that her and Drake would unfollow each other on Instagram, and then a couple days after that, she would delete their interview from YouTube altogether. Mm. After it had gone viral and garnered millions of views in the matter of only a couple of weeks, some people said that the feud really began after she got invited to one of Drake's concerts and acted completely unamused the entire time. Yeah, we all know she's putting on a character, though. And to me, this is probably the funniest shit she's ever done. Just acting like she doesn't want to be there while Drake's saying, I tried! And obviously people know that she's trying to convey this dry, deadpan, completely unamused type of character. But with her not being very established in the industry, I think that for the masses, a lot of people found this to be more annoying than anything else. So after coming off that run of bad publicity... I mean, she for that, I have to speak on this. It's like... When you're starring off doing entertainment and all that, you always sort of start off uh, putting on a character. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, Nicki Minaj, when she was coming out, uh, starting, she had that whole Bobby, Barbie moniker. You know what I'm saying? She was putting on the character of Barbie and all that stuff. Everything was just Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. You know, she was putting on a brand. The, like, they told bobby to have a brand and that she made essentially that her brand you know that dry um you know uh, unamused uh character you know what i'm saying she just made that her brand so i'll speak on that for that she would end up interviewing offset and to me this was kind of like the nail in her coffin at least when it came to this little act as Offset would come into this interview and completely turn the tables on her they and start getting longer the nails person, and in turn doing making her, hair her the one who feels very uncomfortable. You do. That's um, the question. I interview people. Why? Because I want to get to know them. Why do you want to get to know me? Um, I didn't. So she's trying to big league our Offset guy just like she kind of did to everyone shit. beforehand and he really wasn't going to stand for that shit. You did. Your team reached out to mine. Don't cap. Let's not talk about that. Let's not put. Let's not flex for the ground. Uh oh. C A P. I honestly don't know how this came about. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes. Okay. My team could have reached out to yours. I'm not gonna. I, I don't want to make you look bad. They had to show me who Bobby was. I thought they were talking about Bobby Boucher. <laughs> no. He's like they don't even know you. He's exposing oh, the plan in the nicest you. way possible. 
ever heard of Offset. The water? Life. Yes, you have. I have not. The water? I took you on the way here, and I read something about you. I had to go on TikTok. I couldn't even Google it. Thank Ooh. you. That I was... Go, uh, TikTok search. I couldn't Google Ooh. Google's not there yet. TikTok there yet. search. But crazy. But you're on TikTok. Ooh! I don't know why, but it seems like when you only have TikTok fame, people see it as kind of like a slight. Like, I think TikTokers think that people don't necessarily take them seriously. And I do think that's just kind of the nature of things when a new, like, entertainment format kind of takes off. That's the way it used to be with YouTubers and streamers. But now that those things have gone more mainstream, obviously, you know, the people in the industry get a lot more respect. I feel and like streaming and TikTok took off at the same time. I think Twitch and TikTok. I don't know. I'm going to look at the timeline. But people have taken streamers way more seriously than TikTokers. Most TikTokers. Offset would just continue to grow Some her were able up to during these the interviews. It was like she was one of those big pigs at a Hawaiian cookout. Just slow roasting over the flame while he turned her over They're and over and over again. You know, he just kept thinking faster than her the entire time. That's really what it was. Like, why would you go 2000s tank with the open button? She even looked like, she's like, damn, I'm being cooked. I don't claim to be into fashion, you do. If that was the case, then you would have just came in here with a big-ass hoodie on and some sweatpants. You, you really tried to, you put that together. You gotta just love how he's flipping the tables on her. It's like she's completely stumped, she doesn't know <laughs> what to together. say. And in return, he has something slick to say to pretty much every single one of her comments. So, okay, what would you do differently? On your, on your fit? Mm-hmm. Definitely, we'll put a um, little moisturizer down there. <laughs> Definitely. He said those ankles are ashy. Start rubbing those things. Not on a white girl. Yeah, Not on a white person, bro. Moisturizer is crazy. No, no, hold on. 36-year-old mom, you're 26. <laughs> you should stay down there and not up there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So he would just continue to cook her. And the moment that I would say with the most... Jeez, and I saw this, like, what, months ago, and it still hits like I just saw today. It's viral is when he would actually call her an unseasoned piece of chicken. In a minute, she's going to be charging $25 million an interview. Tell them. Yeah, I will be. Tell them. Tell them. You got to shake my hand. Oh. You need a little bit of seasoning. <laughs> you ain't got no seasoning, man. You like a plain piece of chicken <laughs> just... On the thing, you pull it off, and then you serve the dish. You need some motherfucking seasoning, man. You know what I'm saying? Just a little sprinkle. Have a great of day seasoning. off that. Just a little seasoning. All She's right. broken. You can, you can leave now. This is my hotel. I paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave. I mean, he just <laughs> decimated served her for about 45 minutes. Look, you're and so roasted and served her, bro. I do think that he was going to take her more I'm seriously. I'm saying, and this, he but served. When she came in and tried to make him the butt of the he joke. He didn't just cook, he served as well. When she came in well. and essentially tried to big league him. He was a chef this and a waiter. what was really up. And after this, her show would continue to go on to have some pretty decent success. But it does kind of appear that each interview from here on out was doing less and less oh, views. Besides Sarah. this most recent one that did have a bit of a viral moment, though I do feel like that was also manufactured. Here's actually that moment I'm talking about. But that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? This what shit is, is stupid. I saw I this. I was like, bro. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. Just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not I mean, magician. I don't think, baby. But, I don't think. Yeah, I just have a hard time believing that someone could be this obnoxiously dumb to be in the music industry or really to be over the age of six years old and not understand the difference between magician and musician. I'm just really not buying it. And if that's the point to where this show is getting, to where they're like manufacturing these awkward or uncomfortable moments, to me, that's not. Y'all remember when she made that video saying, saying that like she sold her, you know what I'm saying? Well, back then, we don't know who this person was, but she was viral for saying that, you know, she was all crying and all that stuff. And it's like, we don't know who she is. And then she, as. You know this uh what's his name sukiana pops up and then you know once people made the link to that video i was like oh shit that is her oh so she really did the best sign 
Although this did go insanely viral. I mean, this one post has 10.5 million views. And then she went on Kiki Palmer's show, where she would straight up call her out on her industry plant activity. What would you say to the people that feel like, okay, you're just capitalizing without concern? If that's not who you are, what would you say you are doing? Um, just, I, I don't think I was, like, capitalizing. I think I was just, like, taking people who I thought were really amazing. And Just a little side note. Really? Y'all notice how she changed her entire look after that Offset interview? After I'm that saying. man called her unseasoned chicken. She had to slick the hair back. I mean, I I'm saying, bro. Like, like them type of chicks. Oh. She had to elongate <laughs> am, her nails, but... too, like them type of so chicks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not, I mean, not this part, but. I truly, like, no. I, I feel like it means, like, I don't know. I mean, like. The industry is like you know what it is. I'm There's a, a reason of, that you have I one of the smash. top talent managers in the entire world. I what smash. I think the industry plan is it's like somebody I that has too, been though. like that is is tied to someone else in That's the industry. That's just personal preference and uses those connections okay. to capitalize, and they like have zero talent. Ooh. <laughs> it's more sense than what think? I thought it was. So, <laughs> I. She's like, that's good. That's all you think it is. What really happened is the devil came into my room one night. He made me sign a blood pact. Yeah, I don't have any ties, though. So I would love to. I mean, I talked to Sukiyana about this, you know, like, easier. did you I miss that ties. section of the of don't our interview? Yeah. She's like, bitch, your life is on easy mode. You're living on recruit difficulty. Well, you do feel kind of planty. We do have the same manager. So it's just, planty. I know, I'm not crazy. It feels a bit planty. This is definitely planty. <laughs> you, got, you got here in five minutes. It took me 20 years. But Ooh. I, hey, it has been a minute. It's just funny all these people are like, nah, you're not gonna get away with that bullshit. I know how this game really works. And most recently, this was the reason that Bobby had gone viral, was that apparently her and her husband had filed for divorce after four years of marriage. With them also noting that they had split back in July of 2023. People also noticed that they made this announcement right after Drake's uh, little Drake snake up. on a plane leaked out, or that I think he straight up posted did an interview to the on internet. The bed. I mean, she did miss her kids first birthday to do that interview and people also had a lot of criticism at the time for her being a married woman and asking Drake questions like this. Am I your type? Um I do it. Thank you. And also pretty much doing the same thing to Tyga. Would you date someone that looks like me? Because there's just a person. What does that mean? Like looks exactly like me. They have a twin. Maybe. If I had a twin, Maybe. would you date them? She was like cool, and like you know. No, she's I, exactly I, like me. And after that news went public, she would post this up on her Instagram. As most of you heard, Corey and I filed for divorce. As sad as I am right now, I am thankful for the time I got to be his wife. Our girls are so lucky to have him as a father, and I am so lucky to be able to co-parent with such an incredible father in person. While our relationship did not work out as a husband and wife, we will always be friends, and I will always love him. So people were saying that she got the Drake snake. And then matters would only intensify yesterday when she dropped this sparring video with that man, Ryan Garcia. Uh, I show power without her. Who? Oh my god, that hurt. Stop it. That hurt? Stop it. Can I put two of my hands together? <laughs> Don't do that. Can I put two Don't of my hands that. together? It's crazy. Wait, what did she say? That what hurt. did she say? Can I put two of my hands together? <laughs> Don't do that. Can I put two of my hands together is crazy. Do you notice I'm giving you angles though? Do you notice I'm giving you angles, angles? though? Is crazier. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely making in your windows. They're setting up the vibe. And then I'm like this. And then I'm like this. All right, definitely setting up the vibe. Nah, man. Play chasing her around the room is just crazy activity. I know her ex-husband was doing steps. Mad seeing this shit. Dude. Where the fuck even are they? Dubai? I mean, that shit was almost like when you're back in elementary school watching your crush run around the playground with someone you don't like. Either way, I just wanted to provide you guys with this. Jamari, today, stop hitting that home, that bro. Six months since we last talked about this. Do you think that this girl, Bobby, will continue to see success in her future? Or do you think her 15 minutes of fame is running out? I want to know down below in the comments. All I know is this. I knocked.
them boots off, man. All right, you guys, so that was Jamari with She Came Back, Bobby Altoff, her name was. But who really cares? Because honestly, I think it would just be a smash and dash for me. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? She'd be a roster regular. Y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this video, man. Make sure to leave a like for the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. So that we can join up with the all-star gang up in this thing. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. 100. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.